what's up everybody this is angry hippie lady and we are back for another episode of bear with me let's try it is that him is that ted all right so i assume whoever i pick is gonna die i just labeled his key millie's getting old I hope you can forgive me. Well, the goons, I don't care. I'm really not okay with this. And then Betty, eh, I really don't care. Is this the last one? I don't think so. Uh, am I supposed to put them down here, maybe? That. Oh, I didn't read that. Crap. Don't choose the bunnies. Even though they risked their necks for you, they went against King and helped you get into Paper City. This is how you repay them? Two for one. Yep. Millie. Poor, blind, old Millie. That's what she gets for trying to help you? I guess. I'm so sorry, guys. Please forgive me. Give them to me! There, you freak. Pledge them to me and ask in return. You can have all of them. Just bring him back. Wow. You monster! Why would you do this? Watch this not be Ted. No. No. No! No! <sighs> Is there anywhere else I can go? It's locked. Yeah, they're all locked. Did I have to do that? Elevator's back. So weird. So I had a theory, or I, I told Kat my theory, was that Amber was dead this whole time. Oh great, another one. Just go through one of the doors, please. Find an empty spot and stay there. I'll come and check up on you later. I think you got me confused with someone else. What is this place? It's a customer support center. Wait, you're not here for the job? Where did you come from? Like outside oh look at you miss outside i don't appreciate your attitude to be honest i'm leaving <sighs> good luck with that there's no leaving this place what do i need to do aren't you the famous world traveler miss outside what do i know i'm just a service provider okay i get it 
Help me. I need... Ugh. Customer service. Have you tried turning it on again? Turn what on? Your Why brain. Why is it wavy? Are you making fun of me? I'll report you. All reports are to be submitted in writing and deposited in an official complaint box. The review could take up to 10 working days. Please be patient and don't hesitate to ask for help in the meantime. And remember, we're only happy if you're happy. Whatever, what do I need to do? You have to find out something. What? There was this old man. He used to live alone in our building on Whitewater. Remember back in the city? Remember? I guess. I can't remember his name, though. Oh god, I don't know. Uh, uh, Mr. White? Wasn't it Mr. White? I don't think so. Uh, Mr. Peters? Was it Mr. Peters? No, I don't think so. Stevens? Wasn't it Mr. Stevens? No, I... I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember either. Anyways, find out what happened to him. How? Ask around. I can't hold your hand. Fine, after I find out, I'm out of here. Sure. Okay. What? Hello? What's going on? Hello there. How can I be of assistance? What? How is this? Where am I? It's the customer service, ma'am. How can I help you? What do you mean? It's me. I don't know your stupid answer. I'm trying to leave. Answer? Your stupid question about our neighbor? Whatever his name was? I'm sorry, miss, but you must have me confused with someone else. Is there something I can help you with? Are you kidding me? Um, I mean, joking and kidding wasn't part of my orientation? Fine, whatever. I just want to get out of here. What is it that you want? Me? Ma'am, I don't want anything. I'm just here to help you. Hi there. Welcome. How can I be of assistance? Yeah, do you know what happened to our neighbor from Whitewater Street? Which one? The lonely old man. Oh, that guy. He wasn't lonely. He had a wife. Didn't he? What happened to her? Uh, I don't think he had a wife. I don't think he had a wife. Well, I think he did. She I left think him? she left him. No, I don't think... Got divorced? I think they got divorced. No, that doesn't sound right. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. Hmm. Well, try and remember, miss. It's a good place to start. I'll be here. I have no idea what's going on. I was at like something 14 Whitewater there, Street, miss. I think. Um, listen, do you know what happened to our neighbor from the city? Which neighbor? That lonely old man? Oh, yeah, I remember him. I remember him as being kind, but something was wrong with him, right? He was a gambler. He smoked a he lot? He smoked a lot. Hmm, that too, but there was something else. He worked as an accountant for the mob. No, that's just nonsense. He was a gambler? He was a gambler. No. There's there nothing. was nothing wrong with him. He was just lonely and sad. No, there was. He was weird, especially later on. I don't know what you're talking about, but I remember him being nice. He was, no doubt. But there was this thing, something about him. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope it's not what I think it is. How can I be of assistance, miss? Hey, do you know what happened to our neighbor from Whitewater Street? You know, back in the city? Which one? The old man. I always felt sorry for him. He seemed so lonely. The old man from 15D? Oh yeah, that's right, 15D. What was his name? I can't remember. I... I can't remember either. I remember feeling sorry for him, because I thought he lived alone. I think he had a wife, miss. She would always bake those cookies for the kids. Remember how every time she would make them, their entire floor would smell so good? What was that smell? Chocolate? Chocolate? No, not ch Mint. Mint. No. Oranges? Oranges? No, it... What? Look, I've played so many games recently of things that have been weird. And my monitor just goes off? Did my monitor just die? Did my monitor just... I have no idea how this happened. But apparently my monitor got unplugged. I have no idea how that happened. I was not playing with it at all. 
I was playing with a different plug. Okay, that's really weird. There's been some really strange things. Stop moving. That's not supposed to be moving. Okay. Uh, oranges? oranges? No, it was some. Oh, I don't remember. I can't remember. Don't worry, uh, okay. I'm sure it'll come to you. In any case, don't forget. He was in apartment 15D. Yeah, 15D. thanks. I'll remember. Okay. Closed. I don't know if there's like any other things I can do in these areas. Doesn't seem like it. Nope, no, other me. Right there. There you go. Oh, great. A customer. Oh, great. A cheerful employee. What do you want? Well, nicer attitude would be a good start, but I need to know what happened to our neighbor back from the city. Which neighbor? The lonely old man? Oh, the one that used to hang in the dive bar down the street? What was the name of that place? I don't know. I don't know. Why is this important? Why is anything important? Do you know what happened to him or not? I might. Well, I can't remember. Ugh. Fine, I'll find out the name of the bar. Please do. Hello, miss. How can I help you? Hey, do you know what happened to our neighbor from back in the city? I'm not sure which neighbor you mean, ma'am. The lonely old man. I'm afraid I need some more information in order to help you. What apartment was he in? 15D. 15D? Oh, yeah, I remember now. He had a cat. Dinah, right? Dinah? Can't remember his name though. Weird. Oh, I've totally forgotten about Dinah. She was so cute. But yeah, that guy. I can't remember his name either. Never mind. I'll get it. Thanks anyways. Glad I could help, miss. Okay. So I haven't heard about a cat before, so let's go here. Maybe it'll be here. I finally had a breakthrough. Gosh darn it. Listen, I don't have a lot of patience left, so let's just cut to the chase. Oh, by all means. Okay, do you know what happened to our neighbor from the city? Which one? Ugh, I can't remember his name. Okay, was there anything about him that stood out? His cat, Dana. Yes. He had the cutest cat named Dinah. Oh, you mean Mr. Morgan? Mr. Mr. Morgan. Morgan. That's right. That was his name. How could I forget that? Are you satisfied with the service I provided? What? Oh, yeah. That was great. Thank you. I'm only happy if you're happy. That's kind of sad. Tell me about it. Okay. Was it this one that I need to talk to next? Hello, miss. What? Did you rem- Oh, no. Can't remember. I don't- Yeah, thank- Alright, um... Is it this one? Hey there. No. I, why do you? I might. Well, I can't. Ugh, please. This one? Hi. Uh, ah, oh, this is the I wife one. So this one. This is so difficult. How could you, um, about our- I didn't mean anything by it, miss. It, he was, I guess, so sad. It really is. But can you pinpoint what it was that- uh, that, No, that I'd- he was Which one have I not gone to? This one? No, I've been to this one. And I've been over here. You're still here? I'm getting- Well, then. I just oh no. By the way, I didn't. Maybe I need to go to this one. This one wanted to know his name. Wasn't it this one? Just get shut up. Look at well, you're like that's all right. Anyways, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, it was, wasn't it? I remember now. He was that heavy smoker. That guy. Remember? I don't think I ever saw him without a, a cigarette. That's right. And he was really lonely. He wasn't lonely. He had a wife. I can vaguely remember her, but she would bake these cinnamon, cinnamon cookies, cookies for the kids, remember? I guess. I remember that cinnamon smell now that you mention it. Mr. Morgan. That's right. Now you just have to find out what happened to him. All right. I'll take a stab in the dark here. 
I was writing that down. There we go. Um, he was actually a ghost. I don't know. Well, go. Yep, I'm gonna go find out. All right, I think this one was the one about what's wrong with him. Hey, the I don't know wh why is it. Do you I might well? Crap. I can't. Ugh, please. Wasn't there anyway? Was this the one that was talking about what's wrong with him? How could you say, um, about our I didn't mean- He was just, I guess, so, so- It really- Um, he smoked a lot. He smoked a lot. Hmm, that too, but there was something else. <sighs> there was no- I'd- He was- Alright. Cookies. Was this one the cookie room? Hi, did you- I don't know. Hmm. Must have been the middle one. I'm pretty sure it was one on this side, though. I think oh, I've taken care of the first two no, rooms. Not, oh, that, oh, yeah. What kind of... Cinnamon. Cinnamon. She used to make cinnamon cookies. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Those were so great. Yeah. Oh, no. What is it? I remember now. I think his wife passed away. She was sick and bedridden for some time. And passed away. one day she just died. That's right. Poor guy. He was heartbroken. I remember now. Yeah, such a tragedy. Well, this took a dark turn. Anyways, thank you. You were very helpful. No problem, miss. If there's anything else, please let me know. Okay. Was this the one about his wife? Hi. Um, she passed away. Um, she passed away. Oh no, what happened? She was sick. Poor guy. I bet he was devastated. I guess that's why he, what, would spend his days in that bar down the street. I guess he didn't feel so alone there. Yeah, I guess he needed to be around people. What was the name of that place? It's on the tip of my tongue. I think it was Long Gone Day, miss. Oh Long yeah. Long Gone Day. Anyways, thank you. See you later. Bye, okay. miss. Don't hesitate to ask for assistance. Okay. I think it was the middle room? Was the bar? Or is that what's wrong with him? Hey there. Long gone day. The long gone day? Oh yeah, you're right. Funny name though. So, yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Well, you see, after his wife died, he would spend his days there. I remember him as being a heavy smoker. After his wife died, he picked up another habit. Oh no, poor guy. Yeah, he would always come home late at night and he could barely walk. I feel so sorry for him. What happened to him? I can't remember, but I have a feeling if you're hoping for a happy end, you'll be disappointed. I have to find out. I need to know what happened to him. Sure. I'll be here if you need my help. He probably killed himself. That's what I feel like this is leading up to. This game got serious really fast. How could fast. you say that? Um, about our- I didn't- He was, I guess, so it really- Alright. He had a bit of a he drinking problem. He had a problem. bit of a drinking problem. Oh, that's right. It all started after his wife passed away. He would spend his days in that dive bar down the street. What was the name? The Long Gone Day. Long Gone Day. That's it. Oh, what is it? I remember now. So, what happened to him? He... I'm sorry to say this, but... Well, he died. Wait, really? Poor guy. What happened? There was this accident, and I think it's best if you talk to my supervisor about that. Are you kidding? Tell me. He came home one night, and he was drunk. I remember hearing about it somewhere. Apparently he fell asleep with a cigarette and his apartment. Oh no. His apartment caught on fire. The fire department couldn't do nothing about it. They were too late. That's terrible. Such a tragedy. How come I don't remember any of that? I really don't know. But please, miss, talk to our supervisor. She might be able to help you remember. Fine, I'll talk to her. She's not exactly the nicest. She can be difficult, but you have to understand she's been here the longest. Okay, I'll go and talk to her. Thank you, by the way. You were very helpful. Glad I could help, miss. Such a sad story. It really is. What on earth? Why are we going through this? What? Like, what? what's the importance of this? Oh, Miss Outside. Did you find out what happened? I did. So, what happened? He... He died. 
He fell asleep with a cigarette and his apartment burned down. Sadly, that's right. Why did you make me do this? It's for your own good. It doesn't feel good. Not all good things feel that way. I can't. Listen, isn't it a bit strange you forgot all about that? It's very strange. You think I forgot on purpose? No one can forget on purpose. You forgot because it was easier. It just happened. So what now? Do I need to find something else for you or... What? What's going on? Did you... Hey, where'd you go? What just happened? What is going on? Looks like... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I won't eat them anymore. You can still make them for Flint if you want. I promise I won't eat them anymore. Yeah, I'm stupid. Oh my god, stop! Mom? Dad, what's going on? When the fire happened, it didn't stop in the old man's apartment. This. This is our old apartment. Is someone here? Mom? Dad? Flint? Home at last. Ugh, just to think about the dishes. Flint showed me how to draw right there. Ugh, just to think about the dishes. Oh, that's just all one big thing. I miss this sofa. Man's a fireman? I got a sword! Don't come any closer. I I have a sword and I'm not afraid to use it. want it back. This piece of you, don't you? Do I just... You're not so bad. It was me who made you into a monster. What am I doing? exist because of me, because I refuse to accept. You want it back, this piece of you, don't you? Do I just let it happen?
I remembered everything. I understand now, at least, that it wasn't my fault. Sometimes life is unfair. Ted taught me that. If I hadn't eaten that cookie, we would have been home when it happened. Maybe Flint would have gotten out okay, but maybe someone else would get hurt. No one can know that. All I know is that I miss him so much. I thought if I pretend he's just hiding that maybe, I don't know, that maybe I could see him again somehow. I didn't feel so helpless anymore. Somewhere along the way I got lost in my own fantasy and it got difficult for me to stop pretending. Mom and Dad told me so many times it wasn't my fault, but I wouldn't accept it and I know now that was wrong. You can't outrun sadness. So there's no point in trying. The only way to get over something is just to face it head on. I guess in his own way, that was what Red was trying to do. He was destroying this fabrication I made around myself in hopes of reaching me. But it was only when I lost Ted too that I got the strength to stand up to him. And I see now it was what he wanted all along. I know I'll never see Flint again, and it makes me sad. But as Ted once said, life gets sad sometimes. All I have to do is push through and happiness will find me again. I need to get some sleep now. I'll be wiser tomorrow. After all, it's going to be a brand new day. How do we go from happy black and white game, detective story, whodunit kind of thing to something really, really serious? I mean, she might see it as her fault for her brother being dead. If she hadn't eaten that cookie, her her and her whole family might be dead. That's really sad. I really, I don't know. For the for a while now, I've kind of had the feeling that it was gonna get dark really fast, and I told Cap finally about it, about my feeling about that, and um, I I thought Amber was gonna be the dead one. Like I I figured Amber was dying, and this was her. I don't know her last few moments. <laughs> I don't know. But I never... I never thought that it would be somebody else who's dying. I was, I was also scared it might be her parents. Wow. Um, I guess that's it for this game. I thought maybe there might be five episodes, but there were only three. they were together at the end <laughs> all right well i guess we are done i guess that's it for bear with me thank you all for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this game as much as i enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next series peace out everyone